అందరికి సంతోషంగా ఉందా ఆర్ యు ఆల్ హ్యాపీ బి ఆల్వేస్ హ్యాపీ 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 ప్రణాంశ లోటస్ ఫీట్ ఆఫ్ ఆ మోస్ట్ మిలోడ్ భగవాన్ డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్ ద మెయిన్ డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ఎ వర్ల్డ్లీ లైఫ్ వర్ల్డ్లీ ఎఫర్ట్ వర్ల్డ్లీ ప్రొసీజర్స్ and that of spiritual path the spiritual life are totally different why i begin this lecture with this, with these words i have a reason to say we are very much in a hurry in the world very much in a hurry running running racing racing with the time and that running and racing with the time is of no value in the spiritual field because this is timelessness the world runs with the wheel of time while spiritual path is a timelessness eternity that is the first difference the second difference is in the worldly path worldly efforts worldly endeavors worldly pursuits we are in deep tension tension worry anxiety this is worldly ways of things spirituality is a tension free no anxiety no worry no hurry three in the worldly way we have a kind of competition that man has got higher uh, rank and i should reach his rank and little bit above him or at least manage to get him removed out of office take his place so this kind of competition is there in the worldly way competition market global globalization marketing and comparison is also there in the worldly way see how they are doing they are doing very well oh, so what so worldly way has got this comparisons and competition but in the spiritual field comparison and competition nothing but nonsense no comparison no competition because nobody else to compete with nobody else to compare with so comparison competition have no application relevance in the spiritual field point 5 i'm a teacher you know for 49 years therefore i speak point by point you should excuse me old habits die hard <laughs> in the worldly way in the worldly sense there is a way and a goal way and a goal meaning if you follow this procedure you will achieve the goal if you go along this way you will reach the target 
way and the goal are specified in the worldly sense in spirituality way is the goal there is no goal it is goal less path spirituality what is there any sense in what i speak spirituality has no goal yes it has no goal why when you are god who is the goal what is the goal where to go swami says you are god ah so are you the goal to yourself can you be the goal to yourself so where is the goal there is no separate goal next point in the worldly sense there is a sense of achievement attainment i achieved this i attained this i got this i am advanced okay i have grown ah, ah, ah. that's all there attainments achievements accomplishments results they are all there in the worldly path spirituality is not an attainment please understand it spirituality is not an accomplishment spirituality is not an advancement because in the world there is achievement attainment advancement and growth a kind of a claim there is a sense of ego attainment advancement progress they are all claims claims nobody will come and say that you attained this fellow has no patience to wait until other one says he goes on saying i attained means he has not attained therefore attainments achievements of the world are not applicable in the spiritual path why in spirituality there is nothing like to attain there is nothing like to achieve because you are already that tatva masi you are already that supposing if you say anil kumar if you call me anil kumar is that state of anil kumar hood have i attained it have i achieved it no i am already anil kumar i have not achieved i have not attained i am that already therefore spirituality is not attainment not achievement but realization it is realization realization in the worldly path it is with group of people we work association organization office people paraphernalia administration hierarchy wah superiors inferiors subordinates rank and file all that paraphernalia administration will be there it is collective effort right from casual labor right from a normal simple worker to the level of the top managing director all of them work together towards the goal in the worldly path so worldly path is a collective effort supposing in a, in a college in a university each one teaches one one subject all of us contribute to the academic excellence of our students all teachers together in a factory all workers together so in in the world we work together as a community as a society but in the spiritual field it is a lonely path it is an individual path it's all individual path i cannot say all of us will go to the heaven right now be ready there will be a bell tuck 
open your eyes you'll be in the heaven <laughs> then you will be mad i am totally mad there is nothing like togetherness mass no 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 spirituality is an individual path it's an indiv uddhare atma atma anam everyone has to work for his own liberation for his own emancipation the next because this morning we are discussing the worldly path and spiritual path because uh, the demarcation seems to have been lost these days there is utter confusion one overshadowing the other one eclipsing the other leading to a dilemma a total chaos or utter confusion let us understand what is that and what is this in the worldly path another difference that we find is this ever changing factors ever changing pattern pattern procedure our teaching pattern in the olden times to make use of chalk piece and the blackboard today transparencies powerpoint there may not be any point nor power supply anyway powerpoint presentation so the students can sleep you know because in regular teaching i will know who is sleeping in powerpoint it will be dark there will be no point no power they will go to sleep and when you switch on the light towards the end of the class they will come out of samadhi <laughs> or deep sleep sleep <laughs> so the teaching methods go on changing <laughs> our pattern the factories the techniques the technology goes on changing somebody said sir what is you are working with i so old fashioned so many new things have come oh i see so many new things have come but i am not new what am i to do <laughs> so i am not able to keep abreast of times <laughs> therefore change of technique of procedure updating updating that's all there in the worldly way but in the spiritual path it is changeless meditation nobody says remove meditation follow imitation <laughs> there is no other new veda there is nothing like new veda there is nothing like new bible new bhagavad gita that is not there sir there is neo bhagavad gita there is neo bhagavad no 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 there is nothing like that therefore the eternal procedure eternal procedure to to changeless individual soul is spirituality the soul is changeless the procedure is eternal spiritual path but in the worldly way the changing man facing the changing patterns techniques and technology there in the worldly way what happens is <coughs> there is a kind of duality 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 i mean ups and downs profit and loss victory and defeat success and failure duality is the worldly way of life but spirituality is non dual non dual the one without the second when there are two you can say success failure day and the dark pain and the gain the victory and the loss when there is only one non dual when one fellow appears for the university examination is university first and also university last clear only one fellow appeared so he is real advaita fellow 
so the point is the one without the second its non duality is the way of spiritual path duality is the way of the world division fragmentation segmentation viewing things in different parts is the style of the world while oneness holistic view totality is a spiritual perspective so spiritual perspective is wholeness wholesomeness totality while division is the way of the worldly path therefore my friends let us be very clear of these two views i think i have enumerated the list adequately enough from time to time we will add to this because we should know that what path we are following where are we i give you one example there are people who are very calm in the public life very calm peaceful quiet let me give you a common example from our epics king janaka king janaka being an emperor he was quite calm peaceful poised equanimous spiritual though being an emperor so he is a raja yogi so you can be in the world yet spiritual if you maintain that composure that poise that equanimity that steadfastness that steadiness that balance in the world you are spiritual in the spiritual path if you are fully tensed fully anxious completely worried totally comparative highly competitive tension worry anxiety goal oriented you may call yourself religious but you are worldly non religious therefore my friends in the world we can be spiritual in the spiritual path we can be worldly from the worldly sense we have desires we have so many desires i want that i want this but in spirituality there is no question of desire desirelessness desire to be desireless the only desire is to be desireless that is spirituality desire desires more and more is a worldly style therefore my friends instead of remaining in the spiritual path leading a worldly life better not call ourselves religious people because i find some people somebody come and tell me sir he is doing 108 prasakshanas circumambulation round ganapati and gayatri he tells me i, I just laugh and say how does it bother you he is going round ganesha he is not forcing you he is not dragging you why are you bothered i also pity that man for telling you his score why do you tell you i am going round 108 times is it cricket score or what <laughs> so that man who tells i am doing this is a man of publicity is a man of ego the man who thinks that oh he is doing i am not doing again ego problem let him do let him do even more there is no competition comparison here so when i hear people i feel like this there are some people that say i get up at 3:30 in the morning good please get up i cannot i appreciate if you get up at 2:30 <laughs> i congratulate if you don't sleep <laughs> it is your sleep problem how am i bothered huh? so we want to impress upon other people 
how spiritual we are by telling you at what time we get up spiritual diary how many days we fast i don't know to whom is it for any audit or accounts or progress report or what i don't know therefore often times i just stand and begin to wonder are we in the spiritual path or worldly path if we are really on the spiritual path what is this competition what is this comparison what is this superiority what is this inferiority what is all this going on therefore my friends this understanding this awareness is absolutely necessary for our for our movement along the spiritual path for a movement this kind of awareness is necessary because when the root is wrong you reach nowhere i cannot board madra chennai bound train expect to reach bombay you can you sat there in chennai bound train how do you expect to reach bombay impossible so let me know the route clearly so that i am quite comfortable and the destiny will take care of itself no problem unless there is derailment of trains or which is quite normal that we find in the newspapers so everything will take care of itself let us see we are along the right direction correct route or not for that purpose i am drawing your attention this morning with these words that bring distinction difference between the spiritual life and the worldly life the final statement is we are supposed to divinize we are supposed to spiritualize the whole thing that's all everything is spiritual nothing is personal nothing is personal nothing is worldly everything is spiritual that should be the final approach to the divine somebody asked swami how to divinize life how to spiritualize life how to make my life completely divine because my life till now has been material my life has been totally physical bound by the five elements of nature with all the limitations within the frame of the body mind intellect how am i to divinize whole life style how am i to make life my life divine spiritual our bhagwan baba is unique avatar his answers are straight straight you should excuse me if i again make a mention of this state which i often make on regular basis with a meaning today it is time to think of his message more than ever before please be convinced of it let us not go by things of materialization the rings and the watches and the chains varanda conversation and kaswami is car stopped i was about to fall please stop that may be to uh, to your family to a limited group but in large section of the public general public more so today with the withdrawal of bhagwan from the physical frame we are to have a cosmic view a universal view of bhagwan and his message to uplift ourselves to raise our consciousness 
we cannot remain stagnant we cannot afford to remain passive we have got to be active and dynamic ever fresh to be dynamic and active you should have that cosmic view of bhagwan's message well coming back to the point how am i to divinize my life how am i to spiritualize my life how not to make any difference how not to make any difference between worldly life and spiritual life how to make both into one see that swami gave simple straight answer drop the sense of doer drop the sense of doer doership drop that sense of doership consider everything as an offering to god sarva karma bhagavat prityartham all activities are offered to the lotus feet of god as an offering two points he said one drop the doership doership meaning i am doing i am talking i am working ah, ah, ah. this i the buffalo style of expression is nothing but ego of fathomless depth or of himalayan heights ego whosoever that says i have never since i have come things have grown some people come and talk to me like that ever since i have taken up charge these things have happened because of manners and courtesy and decency i say okay okay but i within myself i think that way without you things would have been much better <laughs> things would have been much better without you to think that i have done i have done it's biggest illusion it's a worst of the delusion you and i do not matter in the history millions and millions of people have gone through the passage have gone through the threshold of time and billions and billions of population go through the wheel of birth and death countless number of times therefore what if you are we are nobody a, a, a sand particle along the sea shore a drop in an ocean what is their claim what is my claim what is your claim therefore drop the doership meaning do not claim do not have ego never say i did this i did this because other men will laugh the moment you turn your back because we know people who have done much better yes this doership let us go to the root of this to the root of this claim i have done this i have done this doer doership the one who does is a doer this doership is just an expression of ego an egoless man egoless man is religious egoistic man is irreligious egoless man has got a is meditative egoistic is non meditative therefore give up the doership meaning don't have anything with your, your ego i see where is the ego to remove where is the ego i see my hands my legs and uh, everything what the where is the ego in my body if we go to the medical college and ask the that gentleman and a professor of anatomy sir please will you show me where the ego is 
He will give you all the nerves and the bones. He, the physiologist will explain circulatory system, the breathing system. Good. Anatomy man will explain the bones and the nerves, bone and marrow. But where is the ego? He cannot show. Ego is the mind. Mind is the ego, ego is the mind, that's all. So egoistic meaning the man who is highly mindful, full of mind, talks from the plate, from the center of his mind, works on the foundation of the mind. Therefore, ego is the mind. That is delusion. That is illusion. That is avidya. That is maya. That is prakriti. Prakriti, maya, avidya, ego, mind are all same. Dollar or pound or rupee, currency, that's all. Foreign exchange, that's all. That's all money. So you may give any name, that's all. Therefore, this doership comes from the point of the mind. And the mind is always jewel. Mind is always cunning. If there is any politician in the human personality, Mind is the worst of the politicians. Worst of the politicians. Why? Mind always defends what he, what one does. Supposing I kept this, this way. If you ask me why I have kept like that? There is a reason, no reason, just I kept like that. But mind wants to defend that. Even a mistake is defended. Even error is defended because mind will not accept any defeat. Mind will not accept any failure. Mind has either superior complex or inferior complex. Mind will never remain neutral. Mind is always cunning. How to pull you down? How to defame you? How to character assassinate you? How mudsling helps you, helps me to put you down, to let you down. Mind is cunning, manipulative. Therefore, this doership is out of the mind, which is dual, political, cunning, and always for convenience. Always for convenience. So, when once you give up the doership, what happens? You are in no mind state. N-O. N-O. No mind state. When you are in mind state, doership. When you are no mind state, you are no longer the doer. It is the heart that begins to speak. It is the heart that opens up. When the mind is silenced, it is the heart that opens up. In terms of Ramana Maharshi, Hurdaya Grandhi, Hurdaya Grandhi, the heart opens up. Pure heart is the temple of God, says Bhagavan Baba. He never said pure mind is temple of God. Because mind is never pure. Impossible. If anybody says my mind is always pure, that is impure utterance. It's a pakka blatant lie. If I say here is a tree and it leaves do not move, oh, it is not a tree and you have not looked at properly, either you correct your eye or find out whether there are true leaves or some painting, something like that. Leaves are bound to flutter. With the touch of the wind, the leaves are bound to move. Similarly, the mind is sure to respond, react, reflect. So, mind reacts, reflects, always. Though there cannot be steady mind. No, no, no. 
therefore when once that doership mind is withdrawn when ego is dropped the heart starts its duty mind thinks it is the heart that feels feeling is more important than thinking most of the politicians they think they don't feel so they make promises if they feel they will fulfill their promises they don't feel mind is for convenience heart is for conviction mind is for civilization heart is for culture mind is for outer personality the heart stands for values eternal values that's why gita says ishara hrudesha hrudeshe arjuna tishthati bharata lord installs himself on the altar of the human heart hrudeshe tishthati he installs himself he is seated there in the altar of your heart he has no place in the mind god has no place in the mind because it is it is a kind of competition competition go on rotating musical chair competition heart is not like that therefore people say whole heartedly nobody will say i will say whole mindfully wrong usage wrong english therefore the heart is for value and the culture and so drop the doership meaning be non egoistic let the heart function let the heart take charge value oriented then what happens when the mind is empty when the mind is empty you find the divine there you find the divine there in an empty mind that's what swami says in telugu poem the head is already stuffed you, you, can, you can listen to anything mind is full of prejudices that's what he said in telugu poem i know most of you do not know the telugu so i don't want to expose my scholarship in telugu by giving quotations like that <laughs> i am not giving to that till now thank god at least so in telugu poem he says the head which is already stuffed the head which is already stuffed with the prejudices will accommodate it in any number any more something like a garbage dump it there unless ila burra khali ka konna unless the mind is totally empty ila sukrutamu nimparanguna is it possible to fill your head with spirituality unless it is empty can you fill it up with spirituality impossible further he gives example glass has water full of water yes ye memo cherchi you fill this glass with all the material prejudices well ye maina cherchavachu you can add some more if you want to fill it up with milk what should you do pour it out make this glass empty then you can fill up with milk burra khali kaaka ila sukrutam nimpana guna unless mind is empty it is not possible to have the experience of the divine therefore though people say empty mind is a devil's workshop it may be proverb it is a proverb from the different point of view but spiritually speaking emptiness emptiness is fullness because emptiness of the material 
emptiness of the thoughts emptiness of the plans fullness of the divine then what happens that is full and this is full purna mara purnamidam purnat purnamidachate divine is full my heart is full full of the divine how do i say that because i made my my heart the mind totally empty therefore is divine so baba's first statement give up the doership what is the second statement make all your activities as an offering to god sarva karma bhagavat prichyatam as an offering to god why when i am doing why should i offer to him are i does not arise because you have already dropped your ego there is no question of i am giving no i is gone so who is going giving to whom who is giving to whom when i is not there what is to be given therefore swami gives another example really my friends i have been somehow i am thinking in this direction for the last couple of days and share this thought with our friends because swami statements are so simple that many of our devotees many of us the humble self is not an exemption nor an exception i am one with everybody i have no feeling of any extra superiority not this lifetime i am sure about it all of us take swami statements as they are simple take them for granted we know we know we what do you know we do not know that we do not know we don't know that we don't know every statement i can challenge my friends every statement can run into volumes and volumes of explanation a detailed explanation every statement requires exploration investigation research explanation you have to excavation excavate then you will understand it to quote like a parrot anybody can do it swami said from so what what do you say how do you apply therefore baba si what how example you go to the river a holy river and you take bath as you take bath what do you do you collect some water out of the river pray to sun god and place the same water pour it out into the same river water is out of the river offer to the river that's all is not your water you have not produced water river is not your own you collected water there prayed to god and offered it back to the river see that similarly when once that doership ego is gone everything becomes an offering to him everything teaching or treating or working or managing or eating walking talking reading everything becomes spiritual meditation therefore my friends the first instance we know the difference between the spiritual field and the material field secondly we also realize the danger the confusion when we apply material yard scale or parameters to the spiritual field what is important there is unimportant here you compare it here also what to do with the weighing machine you cannot know your temperature with the thermometer you cannot know your weight similarly spiritual parameters spiritual evaluation spiritual assessment is different from the material 
we only mix and get confused so there's a first step the second step is to make the material also spiritual material also spiritual then that material is immaterial that material is immaterial because it has become spiritual now and the third thing is there nothing like material and spiritual everything is totally spiritual nothing like material and spiritual only spiritual that's all that is the final step therefore the spiritual journey everything becomes an offering and there no doer over here that is the sense of awareness we should develop my friends let us think every statement of baba not a casual remark not an usual statement not as a simple utterance not to simply quote not to simply exhibit our seniority of stay with swami not to claim that we heard thousands of talks of swami which is the which the, don't bring any credit to us because the other man think in spite of all this continue to be like this we should think twice before we say supposing if i say i am here for 40 years the other man think then why do you remain like that you remain the same way i know you 40 years ago and i see you today changeless electric poles also are here this does no use so i i can say i heard thousands of talks so what so it's not for that every word yeah i mean every sentence we have to analyze we have to apply and another secret is this my friends the more and more the more and more you come to know upanishads the more and more you come to learn brahma sutras the more and more you recite veda the more and more you get familiar with bhagavad gita you will understand that baba communicated to you in a much simpler direct way than all those texts something like this so long at home we do not realize preparations at home all the preparations delicious items prepared at home we take in the casual usual way when you go to a camp away from home then you will know the value of house food home food so long we are members of the family we may not know their value then once we are away from them we will realize how we miss them similarly when once we listen to standard talks of great people we will understand swami how nicely you have conveyed the same thing in a simple way simple example i give you because in fact i wanted to talk something and the talk went on in a different direction i can't help it you see there is a statement jagan mithya brahma satyam the world is illusion and the divine is the only truth brahma satyam the god is truth truth is god jagan mithya world is illusion that is sanskrit explained by scholars in different styles on different occasions on different platforms to different groups of audiences see how swami says how nicely kaani di kaani di adini cheppanga galaru gaane 
కానిది ఇది అని చెప్పంగలరు కాని బ్రహ్మమిది అని చెప్పంగ వలను కాదు బ్రహ్మమిది అని చెప్పంగ వలను కాదు సత్యనిత్య జ్ఞానమనంతమైన బ్రహ్మం భో సత్యనిత్య జ్ఞానమనంతమైన బ్రహ్మం భో వాక్కునకు అలవి కాదు సత్యమైన మాట ఈ సాయి మాట అరే 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 వెరీ సింపుల్ తెలుగు ఈ డజన్ నీడ్ ఎనీ డిక్షనరీ యూ డోంట్ నీడ్ ఎనీ తెలుగు పండిట్ సాంస్క్రిట్ స్కాలర్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ టు కన్ఫ్యూజ్ హిమ్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ టు కన్ఫ్యూజ్ అస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ డైరెక్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ you can say not this not this not this is this my god no is that fan god no electricity god no kaani jani chepanga galaru kaani you cannot say not that not that not that brahma midani chepanga valanu kaadu you cannot say this is god can you say that you are able to say not this not this you cannot say this is what it is you cannot say why satyanitya gnana manantam vaina brahmambo vakunaku alavi kadu vakunaku alavi kadu that eternity the truth that infinite knowledge that infinity cannot be put in words cannot be explained meaning divinity is not given to expression see that how nicely he puts it in fact we think this is the world and that is the divine no chudni yedi kaladanu chuntimo adhi ledu are 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 really my friends those who know this telugu language they are really fortunate and blessed because the beauty of every language has got its own beauty every language but in that original language when it is conveyed that is different when it is translated 50% of murder gone as a translator i am telling you i translate his talks for 23 years but every translation conveys 50% of the spirit only that original beauty water from gangotri is different from tap water hey water from himalaya so oh, wow fresh from the tap water highly polluted similarly when one swami expresses in his original pristine blemishless spotless clear crystal clear unpolluted unadulterated utterances in that when comes through the pipes of the translations so i should thank the telugu speaking people for bearing with me because they all know that the real spirit is not conveyed it speaks of their devotion rather than my efficiency i also thank those people who do not know telugu because they kept me employed to be close to swami if all of you know i have no place there i'll be unemployed same thing happened in bangalore swami had been to that uh, sai darshan uh, bhajan center in bangalore swami went there and he took me along with him uh, and it was very well decorated the hall was fully packed double the number of devotees are outside i was standing by his side swami got up and 
about to speak. I am ready with a new suit also. <laughs> but what happened? He started speaking in Kannada. <laughs> and the people were laughing and clapping. So everybody understood everything excepting the translator. Because I don't know the Kannada. Huh? He did not ask me to sit down. At least I can sit down. Why did I stand? So I cannot sit without being asked. There is no use in standing. I am simply helpless. Non-dual personality. <laughs> simply standing like that. Tut, 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 he spoke. Suddenly he looked at me and gave me a nice mischievous smile. <laughs> and I saw that. Good. I do, I do enjoy the fun, you know. I am not a machine like any amplifier or a mic. I do enjoy the divine romance. Why not? <laughs> then he said, Na Kannada bhaga otsahya. I don't know Kannada very well. Then can I say, Swami, you know, who am I to certify when I don't know? Who am I to certify that you know Kannada well when I don't know? So then, by His grace, I said, Swami, you know all languages. Mother tongue. Since you are mother, your tongue speaks any language. Oh, 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 Bane Jepinav. Then he was happy with the answer. So suddenly he starts speaking like that. And we are helpless. These are all things which I <laughs> amuse myself. There is also another situation in Kodai Canal, and I have somehow I have got some fascination for the dress being a product of the Christian college from my childhood. I was wearing a new suit that day. Swami said, why new dress today? Why? Before everybody asked me. What do you say? Swami, today is Tamil New Year. Tamil New Year. Then Swami said, You are Andhra, then why tell me you are to you? <laughs> then I said, Swami, all celebrations are observed by everybody by Sai devotees. Therefore, I am also celebrating Tamil New Year. Then Baba smiled and said, Ray, I know. You think that I give a discourse. And you can translate my talk. Therefore, you came fully prepared with a new suit, he said. <laughs> All were enjoying boys and VIPs. I too laughed. Then Baba said, Kodai Kanal belongs to this area, Tamil Nadu. Tamil, they speak Tamil. Anil Kumar, you know, I speak excellent Tamil. Swami, you know, I can speak fluently, yes, yes, yes. So you are not necessary. Your translation is not necessary. Okay, Swami. Swami. How about new suit even? <laughs> all people should see what to do. No translation today. It's all right, Swami. No problem. I am quite happy. No, no, no. I will tell you one thing. Major General Mahadevan will translate my talk into Tamil. You translate to English. So today we'll have double translation, Tamil and English, so that all people can see your suit also. <laughs> really, when people ask me, Mr. Anil Kumar, do you miss Swami? I say, I miss these jokes. I really miss these personal conversations. I miss his humor, how he makes fun of everybody. And uh, suddenly he starts uh, singing. And he asks, uh, translate. How, how do you translate the whole song? Is it possible? And in the last part of the song, he runs very fast. Come on, do it. Chup, chup, chup. Whoa, whoa. I know, Chan. Anyada Sharana say, Tuami Sharana, please leave me at this stage. I am Randa. At one stage, you must have also heard that. Heard me say that 
I don't want to spoil the beauty of the language, so better I do not translate. That's what I said. It's also there on the record. Therefore, it is a matter of fun. He enjoys our company. But though he often makes certain statements which are very important, with, with profundity, with depth, so much of depth, so much of depth. Yeddi kaladanu chunti mo, yeddi kaladanu chunti mo adiledu. Are you right? See that. Yeddi ledanu chunti mo adi kaladu. Unna dokate daivambu yenna tiki ne. లేని దయ్యను లోకంబు ఉన్నదొకటే దైవంబు ఎన్నటికి లేని దయ్యను లోకంబు సత్యమైన మాట ఈ సై మాట సింపుల్ టు సే దట్ జగన్ మిధ్య బ్రహ్మం సత్యం గాడ్ ఈస్ ట్రూత్ ట్రూత్ ఈస్ గాడ్ The whole world is illusion. Simply say. Yaddi kaladanu chunti mo addi ledu. You say this world exists. The world is true. All that I see. All that I listen to. All that I think. All my movements. They are true. No. Addi ledu. That doesn't exist at all. ఎద్ది లేదను చుంటిమో అది కలదు దట్ యూ డినాయ్ దట్ యూ నెగేట్ దట్ యూ డూ నాట్ సీ అది కలదు దట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ దట్ వాట్ యూ సీ డస్ నాట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ దట్ వాట్ యూ డూ నాట్ సీ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ అది దట్ ద పాయింట్ ఆల్ దట్ యూ సీ డస్ నాట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ All that you do not see exists. Unna dokate da yuvambo. The real existence is divinity. Le ni da yanu lokambo. This is just illusion, a reflection. That's what he said. Therefore, my friends, as we listen to talks, as we go through books, we will know more and more swami's message the simple sentences the simple poems that conveys quintessence quintessence the essence of the whole book yes in a simple sentence before i conclude i'll give another example everybody says on every platform god is everywhere and swami repeatedly says is before you behind you above you below you around you in you if i forget one he will say around you also there so god is everywhere above you below you around you in you very good and there is a shloka there anoraniyan mahato mahiyan smallest of the small biggest of the big smallest of the small biggest of the big is divinity that's what upanishad says swami puts it in a very simple way sukshma mainatti vastu na sukshma maguchu meti vastu na meti yaguchu antata alarunatte sarva sakshi smallest of the small biggest of the big is that eternal divinity as a witness simple finish that's why swami often says you fellows you say that spirituality is a tough subject no 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 easy easy swami does it is very easy so softer than butter you can split it like as if you can break the petal of a rose yemi gulabi rekru tuppi vachaya em und akkada very simple spiritual is so easy 
spirituality made easy because of bhagwan sri satchai baba so simple the more and more it is complicated by the man who does not understand properly by the man who confuses it by the man who misinterprets it the man who has not understood the depth of it simplest direct that's what bhagwan's message is we'll meet again same day same time next week thank you for your gracious presence this morning may bhagwan be with you and uh, ah diwali is fast approaching second is the pavadi just a few words of greeting on this auspicious occasion it is a festival of lights festival of lights that brings delight to every home to every child may that light of knowledge be kindled in every heart may that light of affulgence that radiance may spread among us may we have that light of knowledge because baba says it is on this day a demon was killed by narakasura naraka is the name of that king naraka the other meaning of naraka is a hell the other meaning of naraka is hell and the name of this demon is narakasura asura narakasura was killed on this day why was he killed narakasura he happens to be the ruler of the kingdom by name prag jyotishapura prag jyotishapura prag means that which is already there jyoti the light of knowledge sha that which is forgotten pura the place where people live in prag jyotishapura meaning it is a place where people are living having forgotten their innate inborn latent hidden wisdom of self awareness that atma bhava the knowledge of the self is forgotten by these people so meaning it is a material world it is a meaning it is full of worldly people with no spiritual awareness prag jyotisha pura he is the ruler you can understand how pig headed and dull headed he is so he was killed so narakasura was killed as an expression with a meaning behind that one shall not forget that self awareness that one should not get drowned himself in the worldly the material life prag jyotishapura but then the light shines the wisdom the knowledge of the self atma jyoti atma jyoti the light of the self it burns brilliantly that is deepavali may this deepavali help us such that that knowledge of the self the light of the self the awakening of the consciousness would open the new doors in our life may bhagwan be with you forever and ever more thank you oh समस्त सुखिनो भवंतु समस्त सुखिनो भवंतु समस्त सुखिनो भवंतु ओ 
शांत शांत जय बोलो भगवान श्री सत्साई बाबा जी की जय बोलो भगवान श्री सत्साई बाबा जी की जय बोलो भगवान श्री सत्साई बाबा जी की थैंक यू बी ऑलवेज हैप्पी हैप्पी हैप्पी